Hi, I'm Greg Gomer. And I'm Chase Garbarino, and this is the Boston OB. All right, all right, all right. It's about time McConaughey finally got his due. I love those redheads. Well done, kid. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and it sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll do it live. F it. Uh, huge news, huge news today. Um, Echo Nest is being acquired by Spotify. Um, Echo Nest has been power for, powering Spotify for a long time now. Um, Echo Nest was founded in 2005 by, out of the MIT Media Lab. They've raised about 25 million in venture capital funding. Uh, all 70 employees will be joining Spotify, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, and you know, along with powering Spotify, they power all uh, online music except for Pandora. Mm. So, uh, RDO, Twitter Music, iHeartRadio, and the likes. Yeah. Question will be if all of the services running on Echo Nest will continue to run and the announcement they said they will initially. Initially, uh, I mean, who knows what happens, right? I mean, once those contracts expire, um, mm -hmm. but it also could be a big rev source for Spotify. Yeah. As a Pandora shareholder, I don't know how I feel about it. Pandora's down today. Ah. Uh, hot off the Goss trend this week, we have Manicube uh, receiving a bunch of term sheets. So we know Manicube was part of the Star Tank over there at PayPal. Um, so we know D Chang um, and his team are looking to give Manicube some money. We don't know yet what the funding is, uh, but we do know they're out raising. And Manicube is a service that brings manicures and pedicures uh, to, to your office. That sounds right up your alley, man. It's not bad. Yeah. Fama PR brings them in like once a week or once a month or something. They pay for their employees to get it. Uh, people service. are psyched. People yeah. are psyched. Great event earlier this week, uh, Tech on Tap. Um, Scott Savitz and Sarah Hodges hosted a fantastic event over at District Hall. Uh, a couple hundred people came out. You and Savitz uh, take it to Empire afterwards? Uh, we hit Empire. Saki bombing? Uh, we had some Saki, but uh, you know, Boston needs more of these events. Everybody just kind of letting loose together. And I'm pretty sure he put it in writing that Savitz is picking up the tab on my bachelor party. So he thanks, did. man. Appreciate that. Uh, next week, uh, eighth annual Tug Wine Party. Uh, we raise over $300,000 from the community uh, to give to a bunch of different social ventures. It's a great time. It gets rowdy. It's uh, It gets rowdy. And there's a, a tequila and wine just fiasco. Uh, in the past couple of years, we've had uh, a woman was passed out uh, and would block the entrance to the bathroom. They've had to order emergency pizza yeah. to sort of soak up the booze. Put your pads on before the event this year. Um, and then last but not least, uh, a great event to go to if you're you know, trying to raise funding. Yep. Um, but if you are super desperate you know, for funding, you might find yourself um, you know, slow dancing with a venture capitalist. Mm -hmm. um, no music. What's up, Chris? Never did call me back, man. Mm. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. You guys are saying that uh, you know we look much more comfortable on, on camera. camera. What I mean, week one to week two. Give it, me a break. It gets I, a little awkward. We There's still don't know where cameras. to put our hands. Do I, We're working on it. Do though. I put them here? I put them here. There. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. And one more bit of news. Yeah, one more bit of news this week. Uh, Kim Ye, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West uh, set a date for their wedding, which is coming up. And you, you got the date for that. Yeah, it's uh, May. Who gives a shit? Nice. Uh, m more importantly, favorite McConaughey moment. Favorite McConaughey moment. Out of many, I keep getting older and they stay the okay. same. <laughs> thanks for coming. And big thanks to Scott Kirsner for doing hair and makeup this week, man.